honored guest at your dinner at ADE, Amsterdam Dance Event, and that was absolutely fantastic. It seems that C to Sun, Love Rush Digital, you have a reputation of having very high class, elegant gatherings, which is, it, it carries on to your presentation as a performer, to the artists you sign, to the releases you release. You're not one of those labels who seem to always be on a perpetual schedule to churn out as much as possible into the market. Is that is that a conscious decision with Anton, yeah. or is that just a, a personal No, it's taste? conscious. We, we like to make sure that when we're going to be promoting something, and, and it's something we believe in, otherwise we're not uh, going to license it or going to you know, promote it. I mean, it's not just, we're not a factory. Mm. You know, we're artists that have come together in a business sense to get good art out to the masses. You know? And so that being said, if, if, if something doesn't have the proper lead time, as you would know, mm -hmm. um, it wouldn't get the right representation. So if we're believing in a project, we it's like our baby. Mm -hmm. We just we want to make sure that it's it's just right and it gets out to its audience and and it has the best shot possible for success. So sometimes that means you know a few months go by without another major release. Uh, but lately we've been kind of putting out at least two releases per month, and so it's been okay. You know I'm kind of. I'm grateful for all the talent because it's, it's easy to push when you know, you've got the talent in there. Now you mentioned Anton Bass, who is your partner. He runs the label. Yes. He's also a quite accomplished DJ and producer, and songwriter. dance music, songwriter. Yeah. Um, and he's part of Speakerbox? Yeah, right. he's got a group called Speakerbox. Mm -hmm. Can you talk a little bit about that? How did you meet? And is he still DJing? And you know, what is your role? And who are some of the other artists? on the Sea to Sun Love Rush Digital label. Oh, we've got some great artists. Um, uh, we, uh, well, Speaker Boxes is one of them. We also have a DJ producer group called Steady and Hybrid Heights, and they're doing very well right now. They have an EP out called En El Momento, and it's on the Billboard charts, and it's getting a lot of recognition from tastemakers. And for an instrumental EP, I think that's a pretty good accomplishment. Uh, I love some of the female vocalists that we've signed on to the label. Molly Bancroft is just wonderful. Carla Werner. Oh, look. She had song on Tiesto's yeah. track and, and past, right? Yeah, uh, and she worked with Love Rush UK, and Love Rush Digital is our counterpart from the UK. That's our label partner. Uh, and so Love Rush featuring Carla Werner is a song called Give Me Your Love. And, oh, the remix from uh, Alex Morph is a nice trance mix on that. and. Um, so that's really exciting that we're working with Alex Morf because he's on Vandit. So we've Paul licensed Dyke's his label. record called Sunset Boulevard, and we're putting that out. Um, we've done some really interesting things for film and television, too. Uh, there's a movie coming out called Hot Lunch. It's a comedy. And our DJs and producers comprise 75% of the soundtrack. Really? Yeah. That's a major motion picture yeah, release. Yeah, a Hollywood release. Mm -hmm. oh, Hot Lunch. Yeah. Can you talk about your album? <laughs> My album it has a, a stunning list of collaborations um, from Bella, Bella Trax to uh, Alex Morph to Adam Kane Soha to uh, original productions between Anton Bass, Love Rush UK, and myself. It's got through lines uh, of classical elements. Now, one thing that I've always wanted to bring into the musical sphere within the dance genre is a combination of things, kind of like this really delicious stew mm. of like violins and cellos and maybe a didgeridoo. You're talking about the the on analog top, instruments. Yes, on top of electronica, mm. on top of like incredible sound design, and you know interweaving like side chain type production elements. And I just uh, I think that it should be a journey. So. I'm kind of like going like this with it. So hopefully when you listen to it, you're going there too. It's the whole idea that 
we are organic and mechanic at the same time. We have an interweaving of what has been, what is, and what will be. So it's kind of like a past, present, future take using music to get us there. And obviously we're in a, an electronic type vibration as humans now, uh, but we did come from a place where that wasn't even possible. I use all parts of my voice in this album um, and that's important for me because I've jumped around from genre to genre and I think that it's time I create my own personal artistic epicenter of where that's all culminating. So it would be like an omni if you had to look at it as a graphic. You mentioned earlier you're the founder and president of Sea to Sun Love Rush Digital, but Anton Bass and Mark Love Rush are your partners, correct? Yes. What are their roles? Because Anton, I know him from having been a DJ. He's got a tremendous um, knowledge for the record business. Mm. He worked um, with management companies and record labels uh, in the past, and he has brought Sea to Sun slash Love Rush Digital into the forefront of uh, dance music for, you know, I, I, I think that um, I don't think that we'd be sitting here right now if he wasn't running things uh, in the label because it would never even occur to me to to put things out there the way he does. So I mean I'm I'm certainly grateful for his contribution and you know the merger between uh, Love Rush Digital and us has also been uh, quite auspicious. And what is Love Rush D Digital? Mm -hmm. It's Mark Love Rush. Mark Love Rush and Kinky Rowland. Um, from, from the UK and they have a group called Love Rush UK and my Five Reasons song was a result of that collaboration. Oh. They sent us the track and Anton and I wrote the top line. Uh, so that's how you met you and Mark Love Rush? Yeah, actually. Are you very open to collaboration? Or? Oh yeah. yeah, I live for collaboration. Yeah. What, is, what is your philosophy as an artist? As an artist? Yeah. The philosophy is um, don't have a philosophy, mm. just do something that feels good and create it in the best possible way you can. Because not everybody's resources are the same. You know, I've, I've seen artists that have no budget whatsoever and it's been riveting experience to work with them. And then I see these big budget productions mm. that I'm, I'm left feeling empty, mm. you know. so. You know, I just feel that if the if the song is there and if your intent is there, um, the result is going to be good. And I believe that collaboration is always a very good key to success because the whole is greater than the sum of its parts. It's so nice to see you and talented artists still so passionate about what you do because it translates into what you put out. And we all, consumers, club goers, music, you know, obsessives, reap the benefits so you make our lives richer so well, for that thank you. I thank you very much life is for living <laughs> and we hope to see you again back in Toronto and Canada which I'm sure you will and we will follow you to your events I'm Emily Tan with Sylvia Tosin Love Rush Digital Sea to Sun Recordings thank you so much These five reasons